The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone, welcome to the free Salesforce Career Guidance by Intelogic. And uh, let us start today's lesson in your school on YouTube platform, where we will see the part 15 of Salesforce real-time scenario based interview questions. So let's start one by one understanding how you should answer these kind of questions in the interview. So here comes the first question. Which data management tool you have used in Salesforce project and why? So when interviewer is asking this kind of question, it means they're trying to understand what kind of exposure you have about data management tool. So you can say the native tool like data loader and data import wizard, which are by default available in Salesforce. But apart from that, you can also tell if you know any additional tools like data loader.io or for example, jitterbit, etc. Even if you explain the native tools, that's also fine. And uh, this way you can answer this question. And in terms of why you can say that the data loader you can explain or focus on data loader for why and you can say the benefits of data loader or how it handles the large number of records apart, that, apart from that working on export and apart from that hard delete various facilities are there so you can explain the benefits of data loader in this way let's go for the next question what is benefit of export all in salesforce so export is the facility by which we can export the data from a particular table which are not deleted but if we do export all then we will get deleted as well as not deleted records both from that object so this way you can explain export all let's go for next question what is the issue of cpu timeout error in salesforce so cpu timeout error is nothing but a kind of a load which is on the server and uh, which is generated whenever we have a large number of records in the data management in the data loader and for every record in the background lots of code apex class triggers are running so this ultimately makes a heavy load on the salesforce system which causes cpu timeout error and the good solution for this is to reduce the batch size and process less number of records in data loader this you can answer if they ask you how to solve this problem let's go for next question when you will use a hard delete in salesforce so we know delete operation when we delete the record then record will go to the recycle bin and 15 days it will remain there but hard delete is a facility where we want to permanently and immediately delete the records not 15 not 14 within a few seconds the record will be permanently deleted and those kind of scenarios we use when actually we have some kind of dummy data some kind of poc project or the, such kind of data on sandboxes which we are actually very sure that it's not useful or we have taken for the practice purpose or testing purpose so this should be your answer let's go for the next question query request size in salesforce so interviewer interviewer is asking about the query request size what is query request size so whenever we work on data loader and we do export or export all so the speed of the export or export all is decided by query request please note if you want to increase the speed of export or export all you can increase the value of query request size this is similar like a batch size and also it helps us to control the proceeding of the data loader so this way you can answer all these questions guys for the interviews and let's meet in the part number 16 for learning some more important interview questions see ya